Imagine a world where entitlement and recklessness clash head-on with the courage and duty of law enforcement. In this intense compilation, sirens wail in the background as defiance and resistance reach dangerous new heights. Witness a shocking moment when a woman pulls a gun on Arizona cops and fires, who was struck twice, dropped the gun, and hit the ground, testing the rule of law to its limits. See a Karen pull a knife on police while heading to a club, while she was under the influence of drugs and alcohol. Also, feel the tension rise as a woman bites an officer's leg during an arrest. Brace yourself for the chaos as a crazed Florida woman stabs a cop before a dramatic shooting ensues. Join us as we delve into these outrageous moments and count down the top instances where entitlement met its match. Buckle up, this is going to be a wild ride. First up, a woman in Arizona takes her entitlement to a dangerous level, pulling a gun on cops and firing. But they're not having it, and the consequences are severe. A tense situation unfolded on July 8, 2020, when a 911 call dispatched officers to a residence at 7 a.m. A man reported his roommate had fired a gun after he ejected her from their shared space. Police swiftly arrived and were guided to the woman's location in a nearby parking lot, setting the stage for a potentially volatile encounter. Young lady! Do you have a firearm on you? Did you get into an altercation? Were you fired off a gun? Stay over there. Yeah, please stay the away from me. Okay. I didn't do shit. You got your people back. Look, I have everything on my. Let me see your phone. Let me see. Show me. Show me who shot a gun. The woman denied firing a gun, instead blaming the caller's girlfriend. She claimed to have evidence on her phone, but her story changed when pressed with proof, exposing her deceit. Show me. I didn't have the video, but I have all well, the proof you, on the Show me your proof that it, somebody shot it's the gun. Proof. This you have ID, first of all? I have a template. Only me threatening me. I'll be back. I'll be back. Oh, oh, oh. And then he calls me, and he's like, "You he start showing me around all these people. This is her. This is Who her. shot this the is gun? Her. That bitch in there. The fucking Mexican. Fucking back. Okay. Where did she shoot a gun at? Towards me. Okay, wait over there for me. Overseas. I shot her. Okay, sir. Go wait over there. I don't need you on top of us. Right I'm now. sorry, but my pizza is yeah. I'm gonna ask you to go wait. I know. Okay, we'll we'll deal with that, but I just gotta ask you to wait over there. I've asked you three times. I, I don't know. I mean, all I can tell you. Okay, well, is we're gonna look at the here and see who shot what. All right. You had no gun. I do not. After a tense standoff, she reluctantly handed over her bag to the officers. The search uncovered an incriminating haul, ammunition, marijuana, and other illegal drugs. As officers confronted her with the evidence, she grew increasingly agitated. You got bullets? Yeah. What are the bullets for? That's big. 357 mag? She's got a scale, she's got some weed. I don't know what's in here. I was looking for a gun, but... Alright, I think we're still under... Oh, we got some... These. As officers moved to approach her, she snapped, violently resisting arrest and suddenly producing a hidden handgun. She fired at the officers, narrowly missing them, before they returned fire, striking her twice and bringing her to the ground. Officers on the scene provided first aid to McCreary. Phoenix Fire Department personnel arrived and took over first aid. She was transported to a hospital in critical condition but survived her injuries. No officers or bystanders were injured during this incident. 
For some reason, some people seem to think it's okay to fight with cops for simply doing their jobs. It's crazy and comes with consequences, and here's one of them. On the night of June 27, 2023, officers responded to a disturbance call at an airline in Orlando, Florida, and what happened next, they were definitely not expecting. Ma'am, if, if we continue this on, what's going to happen is they'll refund your money, you'll be trespassed from the airport. We're not going to play this game where screaming people. I listen, for listen, stop. I can go to stop. stop. I told him he's waiting for a letter. He went to I go get it. I'm trying to. I'm, I'm, hey, I'm hey, hey, hold that. Hey. Hold that. Hold that. Listen, I'm what's happening, let, let me explain what's going on right now because this is getting out of control. We're not keep playing this game. Everybody's upset. I understand that. I'm trying to sit that. Stop, stop. No, yes. I'm talking. Okay, I'm done. On, I'm talking. Then I'm going to talk. Right now, Goa is coming here. Remember from Goa, when people start acting up, I'm just saying this because we need to get under control. People keep acting up and threatening people. I'm not saying you're doing that, but it's happening right now. So they're coming over here. And then when that starts happening, one after another, we're going to trespass one at a time out of the airport, okay? So, stop. Airline passengers were going crazy because their flight was going to be delayed. And when they saw they could take it out on the staff, they did just that. And eventually, the commotion would lead to more officers being called in. So I told, I'm going to have Landside come over, and I've already told everybody, I'm like, the next people that That's keep it. doing this stuff, they're just to start trespassing people out of here or moving them out because they're like pushing on the plexiglass. I know they're upset, but they're like pushing on the plexiglass. This big guy right here is like in this lady's face like this. I'm like, we're not going to sit here and play this game for an hour. If you guys can't control yourselves, one at a time, you'll be trespassed from the airport. These people, the only flight that's going out is not tomorrow, it's the next day. So they're upset, understandably so, but the only solution that Spirit can give them is the, the manager saying, we can only rebook you. This guy right here, he's also a Okay, I have to so Listen, for, he doesn't. So the, 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 counters, the counters are closed for right now, okay? The counters are closed now. The counters are closed for now. Oh, I'm glad they're closed now. My man. Listen, listen, why are we, why are we, why are we on this stuff right now? Listen, you are a whole ass liar. Touch me. Listen, touch me. Listen, listen, everybody's, everybody can't act right now. I'll be fine and I'll be on my way. We're closed now for a temporary, for temporary calls for now. They're not doing anything at the moment. Edward Hairston's demand for a refund escalated into a violent outburst as officers tried to calm the tense scene. His anger boiled over when staff intervened, sparking a heated confrontation. And I'll be on my way. Bro, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me. 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 Don't Edward's defiance turned dangerous as he resisted arrest, taking the officer to the ground and attempting to choke him out with a headlock. Get this dude off me, man. Get this dude off me, boy. Get this dude off me, man. Now you got a place to stay tonight. Now you got a f***ing place to stay. My kid is right here! Oh, man. Stand up! Stand up! My leg is broken! Walk you outside. My leg is broken! Stand up! I'm gonna stand up! My leg broken! You're not getting broken. Stand up. Stand up! My leg is broken! Stand up! My leg is broken. Hey man, my pants is falling down in front of all the I'm telling you, my leg is broken. How the f is that I'm talking about? Lip on one foot. My leg is broken, bro. My leg is broken. I don't know why, how you, how you trying to push me? My leg is broken. The tables turned swiftly, and Edward's bold move backfired spectacularly. After nearly choking the officer unconscious, he found himself on the receiving end of justice. With a battered face, injured leg, and bruised ego, he was led away in handcuffs, charged with a litany of serious offenses, including attempting murder of a law enforcement officer. 
the price of his freedom, a hefty $50,000 bail. Do you mind just taking your hands off the knife for me that's in your pocket? No. Okay, take your hands out of your pocket. If you harass me again or... Take your hands out of your pocket. Right now. Take your hands out of your pocket. Stop. Stop. She has a knife in her hand. An off-duty Florida Fish and Wildlife officer was flagged down by a construction worker about a woman on a moped driving slowly and stopping workers to honk their horns, posing a risk on the busy highway. Currently, I'm off duty. I'll talk to you right now. That's I don't fine. Know that. All right, that's fine. Yeah. How you doing? I trust no one. So guys, just Period, give me an uh, understanding. The reason I pulled her over today is because she was flagging down the construction so what's workers, your question? asking them to like honk the her horn for them. Okay. Uh, she was also driving her moped at a slow rate of speed. Okay. Only tops out. It says at 50, so I'm assuming it's not going to be. Ma'am, stay seated for me. Stay there. So this is her driver's license. Okay. Officers pulled over the moped and detected signs of impairment. The woman admitted she was headed to a Tampa adult club, fleeing her landlord's alleged harassment after she refused his advances. She expressed vehement views on men, revealing a troubling context behind her erratic behavior. Where are you coming from tonight, ma'am? Can you please back up a little bit and I'll answer your question? Sure. Is that okay. is that, are you comfortable there? Yes. I'm coming from my residence. And where is that at? Um, um, I've been uh, in St. Pete. Okay, where, like, where are you coming from tonight? Your house? It sucks there. Why? That's why I am like this right now, riding the Tampa Park. I signed a lease with this guy. Uh-huh. And he, um, ever since I won't have sex with him now, or kiss him or anything, I want the hell out of there, but I have my lease just in case. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, you know, yes, my point is, is I simply was just trying to go to Tampa. Where were you, where were you going to in Tampa? I was going to Mons Venus to see what a club is like, to strip or whatever, but to see what it's like because I'm miserable and I'm celibate. And because of what's going on at where I'm at right now and everything, it's caused me so much stress. Well, despite her denials, officers detected telltale signs of impairment glossy eyes, wild mood swings, and bizarre statements. Their instincts screamed warning, and they asked her to take a field sobriety test. She refused, she was on the edge, and a volatile situation was spiraling out of control. Because I'm you showing, you're I'm showing signs, okay to drive and tell me you're, show, you're showing signs of impairment, right? This officer saw you doing some reckless things on the highway that could have got yourself injured. You were going slow on the highway, you could have got hit. You see how fast these cars because are going? I only go 35. I know, but look how fast these cars are going, ma'am. Okay, and and you can't be talking to construction I'm workers are working. Hit. Well, we do. I pulled over because I wanted to eat my cookies, and then he pulled up. The situation escalated dramatically when the woman decided to pull a knife from her bag. Do you mind just taking your hands off the knife for me that's in your pocket? No. Okay, take because your hands out of your pocket. If, if you harass me again or... Take I'm your hands you out of your pocket. Right now. Take your hands out of your pocket. Stop. Stop. She has a knife in her hand. Ignoring officers' commands to drop the knife, one officer swiftly intervened, grasping her arm and bringing her to the ground, successfully disarming her. Even in cuffs, she continued to rage, throwing tantrums and attempting to bite the officers. Stop! It's for my protection! Nope. I... Drop it. Drop the knife, you need to let go. It's not a knife! It's a corkscrew! Oh, it's a corkscrew! I have never used a needle in okay. my life and I don't use you. drugs. I'm gonna take nor this off do I you. smoke cigarettes and I vape. Okay, ma'am. <sighs> I'm not a ma'am. I'm a woman. Yes. You got it. I'm being used and abused every day for your satellite bullcrap. You're under You're arrest. You're lucky I didn't do something like myself. You're under arrest right now. For what? What am I under arrest for? Right now, DUI. Oh. A and, DUI? And resisting. Okay, well, let's do your test. Let's do your sobriety test. Uh, you we're liar. past that. You liar! You lie! I'm not a kid! You liar! Here's the knife, also. Is that illegal? Uh, when you're trying to pull a knife out on a police I officer, yes. I was holding it out. I held it in my, that's a lie. I was holding it in. You had, you had the blade open. Come right up I'm here, ma'am. I'm used and abused by all of you. Period. And I do have mental health, so what, but I'm smart. All right, all right. And hey. I was trying to go away from where I'm at to try to find a new place or something, maybe go to a club, maybe meet somebody. Her claim of self-defense against the officers ran hollow in the face of her violent behavior. We're going. You look that way for me real quick. So look you over there. Can you tell me what way to look? Yeah, look at the moon. Why? I don't want to look at the moon. Or your 11 false ones with your Illuminati bull crap. I'm not in the Illuminati. 
I don't like the Illuminati. All right, Miss Thunder. Hang tight. I'm gonna read you something. Well, I'm not a doctor, so. I don't like to make eye contact. Okay, you don't have to make eye contact with me. I am. Natasha. Natasha, look at me. Let's be adults here. Okay. You are a lawbreaker. Okay. Do you want to give a urine test? Yes or no? You know what? I'm going to pee in a cup because I'm not a lawbreaker. I'm a compliant citizen here. Okay. You would like to do that? Yes. I need okay. um, somebody to guide my blind stick because I don't want to look at the man that broke the law. You haven't even seen him a day in your life. I know that, but you know what? I said you broke your law, man. Eventually, she submitted to a urine test while still claiming innocence and was booked into Pinellas County Jail for resisting arrest with violence and DUI. She also received citations for reckless moped driving. Officer Hopp's professionalism shown in contrast to her chaotic behavior. Now, let's take a look at a Karen completely losing it without any reason whatsoever. Stabs an officer before shooting. On Saturday, April 11th, 2020, Officer Mitchling answered a 911 call that would take an unforeseen turn. As she arrived at the scene, she pulled up to the residence, exited her vehicle, and approached the front door with a knock. But nothing could have prepared her for what was about to unfold. In a split second, the situation turned deadly. Leah Mary Barker, 29, flung open the door and lunged at Officer McSchling with a large kitchen knife. With lightning speed, Baker struck the officer's arm, but McSchling's instincts and training kicked in. She swiftly retreated, creating crucial distance before drawing her firearm and calling for backup. The scene was chaotic, but McSchling's quick thinking likely saved her life. Shots fired! Put that knife down right there. Officer Mitchling gave Baker repeated commands to drop the knife, which she briefly complied, but then grabbed the knife again. The officer fired warning shots, but Baker charged at arriving officers, who fired, bringing her down. Get away from that knife! Even after being brought to the ground, Baker persisted in resisting arrest, refusing to drop the knife and crawling towards the officers. This forced them to call for more backup and divert traffic to de-escalate the situation.
watch that house. She come out of that house. Baker was then transported to the hospital. However, she succumbed to her injuries and was pronounced Up next, we have a woman who bit an officer's leg during arrest. Let's see what happened. You sit in the car, man. A domestic dispute in La Crosse, Wisconsin on October 6, 2021 brought police to the doorstep of 40-year-old Jennifer. She claimed the argument with her mother was about money, but was that the whole story? Don't. Just have a seat on the porch here. I'll talk to you, okay? okay. Just have a seat. Or sit, you want to sit on that chair for me, actually? Sure. What's going on today, Jennifer? So I don't know. So Kelly owes me mm -hmm. 20 bucks. Kelly's buy. your mom? No. I... Are you Jennifer? Yeah. Okay, who is this? Uh, Who's Kelly? Uh, oh, I don't... So, okay, so I'm my mom, but right. she keeps going that she's not, and she is. She's not, and she is. So, anyways, I borrowed her some money, and it didn't go through, so I was like, Pop, can we get, like, use the car? I can always use your car. Okay. Faithfully, I can use that car. <laughs> And then we had problems with it, and it came through, and I was like, can I get your card so I can go get the money? And then she came... So I 40... And sure, I'm not like, too concerned about the money. What happened tonight during the argument? That's what happened. Is that what you guys were arguing about? We're not arguing. No, but why did we get called here? I don't... I didn't call you. So. I know you didn't, but we got called here for an argument. Jennifer's story fell apart when asked about the argument. She denied everything, acted strangely, and tried to walk away mid-question, raising even more suspicions. I didn't call you. I know you didn't, but what happened during the argument that led to us being called here? So maybe she don't feel good or something, I don't know. But I'm not going to fight with you either, so no, do you, I have no idea. Do you remember the argument you had with her? Tonight? I didn't have an argument. I'm With just saying did. this is what happened and that sure. was that. Okay, hang out here for me. Nope, hold well, on, Kelly. So We're not going I back inside here. Go Come grab. Grab. We're not going back inside, mm -hmm. Kelly. I'm not Kelly. Jennifer. We're not going back inside. We okay. are not going back inside. You need to understand that, okay? So I was just going to go get something to drink. We're not going to go get anything. I didn't right call now. the police. I just I know you here. didn't. Okay, step away from the door and have a seat for me. You're not in any well, trouble right I now. I have to sit. Okay. Well, We're just trying to figure out what happened. Okay. I'll hang out here. Okay. I'm not fighting with you. Okay. So what the girl that came inside me. said that Jennifer. you needed to talk to me, mm -hmm. so I'm talking to yeah. you. Do you remember telling everyone in here that you're gonna shoot everyone? No. You don't remember saying that? Do you have access to a gun? Why do I? Pretty much, I'm not telling you this. Okay. The girl Jennifer, you're not inside. listening to me. Do you remember? But I'm telling you, you're not listening. But you're not listening. I asked you a question. Do you remember telling everyone you're going to shoot them? No. Because your family is pretty worried about you. Your daughter and your mom. That's your mom. No. I mean, that's your daughter. My daughter. This is my daughter live here. We don't know. That's what we're trying to say. This isn't your mom? I don't know who that is. You don't know who Kelly is? No. You've lived with Kelly for six years. Apart. No. When, how long have you lived here for? Uh, not that long. Like, maybe three or four months. You only lived here three or four months? Yeah. Okay. When questioned about her earlier threats, she suddenly clammed up. In a bizarre twist, Jennifer denied knowing the woman she called her mother, claiming she was a stranger who liked to pick fights. The officers weren't buying it, sensing she was hiding something. Would you be interested in going to the hospital to talk to somebody no. today? No, I'm not having a problem. That lady has come on our porch. She lives here. No, she does not. She came up on the porch. You don't know who that is? No. A little bit. My daughter and I are like, we don't answer the door. Obviously, there's blanks over our daughter. Who well, lives here? Me and my daughter. Who is Kelly then? I don't know. I have no idea who Kelly is. Well, so then you just said you used. You just said you used her card though. I didn't. No, I said she owed me $50 and she won't give Who did? That we're, you know how people ask you because they're here? and ask you, like, can I borrow some chumps? So I was like, Kelly, you owe me 50 bucks. She comes on the 1st of October, and then she come back here. 
it's like six. Things took a turn for the worse when officers asked Jennifer to stay outside the house. She totally lost it. She tried to bolt, but they weren't having it. So I tried to find her so we go to the ATM and get her beer. She does not live here. Renting as far as I know. But she's renting, she stays here? Renting around here. Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Jennifer, do you want to go to the hospital to talk to somebody? I don't need the hospital. Okay. I just Step outside for me. Porch. Step outside, it's, it's hard to hear you. Okay, I'm going to follow you out. Actually, no. you follow me, okay? Come over here. My okay, you're not going. Is in there. You're not going back inside, okay? My daughter's home. Okay, I know. We already talked to your daughter. Right, but okay. that's not going to happen. Let me get okay, my daughter. You're not going back in the house, Jennifer. You're not. Yes, I haven't Jennifer. done nothing to you. I know, but I'm telling you, right, we are not done you talking. Right, because you always like to me. We are not done talking. I'm going to give Whoa. you the opportunity. I'm going to give you the I'm opportunity to come out here willingly, me. okay? First, let me get my daughter so I know what's okay, going on. We I'm will not go outside leave. and we will come back to get your daughter. Let me get, Jennifer, not you. listen to me. Let You're me not get going, my daughter. Can I just I'm open the door and ask her willingly. to come out? Okay, Please listen to me. Resist. In okay. case Jennifer, I'm not resisting. You are. I'm not. New guy. Okay. I just Here's want my sergeant. daughter to come out side okay. in Jennifer. case I have to leave and she has to lock This isn't what's happening. Dude, get my daughter so she doesn't know wrong. She's scratching. No, Struggling and fighting, she refused to calm down. When they tried to cuff her, she bit a sergeant's calf, drawing blood. Not bad. She's like two years old. Watch she's ever fight me. Oh, my God. I'm grabbing. Jennifer, stop. Stop coming to hurt people that don't are involved. Oh, that's a dumb cut. Close that one. Okay. Watch, well, she's grabbing everyone. So just be careful. Jennifer. I want to stop the two of you. 46, we have one to team. Oh. You guys okay? Yep. That okay. keeps coming in my house. Ready? And you're hurting us. You're going to let her up? You're going to walk. I can do it. You want to change your knee? One. One change your name. One change your name. Yeah, I'll go. One change your name. Come on. One change your name. You ain't no robot. I can go get my squad. Yeah, of course you do. Are you guys good? Are you alright, Sarge? The situation quickly escalated into a chaotic scene, with Jennifer putting up a fierce fight. It took three officers to wrestle her into the squad car, and even then, she refused to go quietly, twisting, turning, and cursing all the way. You sit in the car. Oh. Jennifer, sit. Don't. No. Them to beat me. Hey, undo that seatbelt, sir. Jennifer, scoot back. Okay. Kelly's gonna molest you, and that's why we're called. She molests us. You? Hey. Is she? Nice. Is she? I'm gonna go. Okay. Is everyone good? Oh. You go is everyone good? Did she break skin? No. Sure did. That's to be uh, resisting uh, with injury. Right? Um, you want me to throw that on there? Um, e, uh, victims and lethality. How much you stepped in that car? I left my daughter in the house. You're not clear here and there. My child has no. Jennifer! You're Jennifer! 246. Come on, let's go to some Jennifer, water. stop yelling, please. 
I'm en route to Colony with Jennifer. Eventually, they arrived at the station, where she faced charges for disorderly conduct, resisting arrest, and assault on an officer. On our last encounter, we have... I asked to go in my pocket. You did not ask... Talk about a wild night in Wisconsin. On August 7th, 2022, Superior Police got a frantic 911 call from a strip club, but this wasn't your average disturbance. A couple tried to get in, but the girlfriend, who was 19 years old, was denied entry, until she agreed to become a dancer on the spot, and things only got crazier from there. She raked in the tips, but when her boyfriend decided it was time to leave, he literally dragged her out of the club, sparking the emergency call. Hey, what's going on? Okay, ma'am, you wanna come over here and talk to me? Ma'am. Come here. I'm here. What's, what's going on? Everything I made at the strip club is ripped up and gone. Okay, what's, what's going on? Officers arrived to find the girl distraught because her boyfriend had ripped up everything she made at the strip club. Can you please be nice? Okay, okay. I'll talk to him. Just look at me. Look he was me. upset because I was stripping. Okay. And everything I made, he ripped up. Okay. Who's he to you? That's my boyfriend. Am I going to get arrested for stripping? No. No, there's nothing illegal as long as you're doing it in an establishment that's licensed, which they are. Exactly. What's your name? No. No, no, no. Look, look at me. Ma'am, look at me. Don't look at him. Don't oh, he's going to get arrested. No, 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 no. No, Can you just tell him to call me? Ma'am. I'm, I'm, Dude, I'm okay. Step the please back. Do not, please do not push Step me. Step the out of that back. Do not swear at me. You're an officer of the law. Please do not swear don't at me. Don't care. All right, tell me what happened. Nothing happened. Strike her? I did not strike her. Okay. You have an ID? I do. Would you like to see my ID? No. Is that hers? That that's hers. I was carrying it for her tonight. All right. Here's my ID. You can right. look at it. You did not have permission to go in my pocket. You did not ask to go in my pocket. Jason, the boyfriend who was getting increasingly agitated and his snarky attitude escalated into violence. When the officer reached for the girl's wallet, he shockingly tried to punch the officer in the face, looking smug and oblivious to his wrongdoing. But his bravado would soon turn to regret. You did not ask to go Get on the ground now! Get on the ground now, dude! Yeah. You're gonna get- you're gonna- no, 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 no. Three, on the ground. two, no, that's not, not, on no, was, your stomach now! On your stomach now! No, he's going relax, to turn. Relax. No, he punched him in the f***ing face, Stop. and you know yeah, that. Yeah, I sure right. did, cause Stop. he he cocked back on me. Stop. No, he he Stop. what is he ever? Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Am I gonna be able to? Stop. Just relax. Just relax. You know that was illegal. You f***ing assaulted Stop. my boyfriend. Stop. He didn't. No, it's not illegal. That's police brutality. It's sir. not police brutality. That is police brutality. Okay, I'm sorry you feel that way. You straight up punched me in the face. Yup, because you swung, you swung back like... He did a f***ing swing at you, he stop. put his hands up. Stop. I'm sorry, I don't want to get arrested. Stop. Here, here, we have one in custody. Hey, hey, Go right there, are you good? I am okay. okay. He has my backpack and my purse, am I able to get that? Yeah, just hang on. Yep, that's hers. Can you please give that to me? I don't feel like you had the need to punch me in the face, though. If you cock back on me and you look like you're about to punch me in the face, yes. I'm going to defend myself. Oh, you're not going to get an upper okay, hand Okay, but you're me. an officer of the law. You, you have, I have every right to defend myself. Just because right. I wear a badge and I'm a police right, officer just does not mean that you get to have the first swing. Say f***ing God, ah, Jason! Stop. Stop. Sorry. Wait, do you understand God, that? Jason. Do you understand that? Right, but just because I'm So a, I will punch you in the face if you, I think you're about to attack me. Will you, will you let me speak? No, I won't. But just because I'm a brown person... Just it has me. nothing to do with who you are. It does have something to do It doesn't. To in a final act of defiance, he headbutted the officer, leading to a search that revealed two grams of cocaine in his pocket. It doesn't. Are you brown? Yeah. You're done, bro. You're done. He's trying to head and butt me in the head. Don't cut the bag. Just take it Shut off. Shut up. Just take it off. It's not, it's not my bag. It's not my bag. Yasmina, stop. 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 The bag is hers. Stop. Search on this side. No. I have two grams of cocaine in my butthole. Okay, outstanding. <laughs> and I have three grams of marijuana in my stomach. Okay. Oh, there's not. You got. You piece of. They just tried to bite you. Yeah. I got another squad over here. This guy's trying to bite us and spit on us. And we just need to go here. Jason's aggression was met with a swift punch from the officer. 
Despite being pinned to the ground, he kept kicking and twisting. Stop, dude. Don't punch me. Stop. It's illegal. It's not. It's a pressure point. Stop. Punching me in my throat is a pressure point? It's not. It's underneath your chin. Stop. He, he just punched me in the throat. Stop, dude. You're going to get tased. Tase me then. I have a seizure disorder. You're going to tase me? Get back. Just go stand over there. Just go. It's all ruined. Just go stand over there. Get back. You can. You gotta sit here. Get back. Yeah. Hey, get her back now. I'm, no, this is legal. No, you can step back. I don't. I'm not comfortable with you that close. Well, get them, babe. Get here. them. I'm not the one doing anything wrong. Babe, help me. I can't. You Please, me. baby, help me. I yeah, you did f up today. You're on your own. You really did. So sorry. <laughs> now you're going to jail for multiple felonies, so that's uh... His girlfriend, who had earlier refused to intervene, came to his defense as he faced multiple felony charges. Despite his tears, Jason continued to resist, requiring all three officers to subdue him and force him into the squad car. It's felonies? What yep. felony? You assaulted him! You assaulted him! You assaulted him! You started it! You punched him in the f***ing face! Yeah, I did! And you just caused back. the seizures! Because he swung back on me. I was protecting like myself. Back. Because you punched me, I was protecting myself. Okay. Right? I have the right to protect myself, yeah. okay? That is in the rule book of the laws. Because you punched me, I have the right to protect myself. Nope. Yeah. Alright. I was protecting myself from you. Ow. You left your cop car locked. Yeah. Shut your mouth. Shut your f***ing mouth. Don't talk to her like that. Don't talk to my f***ing woman oh, like that. By. There's a knife back there. Ow! Hey, Larson, you want to pull him through on the other side? Oh. we get an idea on her? Whoa! Yes, I have Ow. information. I just haven't been able to run her yet. Ah. Ow! Pull him. There you go. Pull, pull, pull. Ah. What do I do about my money getting cut up? Don't worry about it. I don't know. See ya. I've seen about the strip club before. Just cut down. Don't worry about it. We ain't going bailing too. I've never been to the strip clubs here. Really? Yeah. Really? Never had any Ow! Ow! Stop! It fucking hurts! Relax! Oh, We're, trying it hurts. Hurts. We're trying to it fix it. Hurts. Stop! You're gonna get another charge. It hurts. Hey, go back, relax. Go back, stop. Relax. Do We're done with her. Okay. You need to leave, otherwise you're gonna get arrested. No, because this is legal. I'm, a, I'm allowed to stay close. You are interjecting into our scene right now. You're getting too close. I told you that multiple times. So just stop. It's very easy. You're built easy. Did you know that? I don't know what that means. <laughs> that means any can you. Cool. It f***ing hurts! Stop! You're gonna get another charge. It f***ing hurts! Roll him on his side. No! Ow! On his side. It f***ing hurts! Stop! Ah! God damn it! Set him up. Set him up. Battery, the sort of conduct. Somebody grab the hobble. His charge? Yeah. You don't need to hobble me. You just shut the f***ing door. Hey! That's another charge. Get him down. Shut that door now. Shut the door. You started it. No, he just had better one of my officers. Yeah, he's two the one times. who punched me. He's better two officers. Like started okay, get him you need to himself. leave now. If you don't have a criminal complaint, you need to I have leave. A criminal complaint. Against what? You assaulted my boy. Okay, have a good night. Blood on you. Yep. Blood on you. That's fine. Is that yours? Yeah. With a bitch in my rag. Can you let the jail know that he's very uncooperative? They're gonna need quite a few people. In route to jail, Jason's anger and frustration boiled over, screaming and lashing out at officers. When that failed, he resorted to banging his head against the partition window. Fucking pieces of shit. I told you to shut the fucking doors! Roll my window down, bitch. Ah! 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 Ah!
This has an ALS originally was for it from slamming it against the window here. So what happened? So we tried getting into the strip club and I'm not 21 and she was like, well, the only way you can get in if you're a dancer. And I'm like, I'll dance tonight. And my yeah. boyfriend's like, if you dance tonight, I'm breaking up with you. I'm like, okay. I started dancing maybe 20, 25 minutes later. He runs up on stage. He, uh, he's just like, he's just snatching my money up. He's cussing me out, talking about I need to get off the stage. And the owner was like, that's not your money. You need to give it back. That's when I was like, okay, I got to go. I need to calm him down because he gets angry as as we're walking away, he's, I was like, can I just see my money so I can at least see how much I made tonight? He was like, no, this is whore money. I was like, what, whore money? I was like, naked. And then he starts ripping up my money, and that's what happened. Is there any charges you want to press against him? No. Okay. I'm literally homeless, so, okay. I mean, like, I get it. Homeless people be having weapons. Trust me, I know. I work with homeless people, so they be a little crazy. Okay. But that's my only backpack I have, and um, I'm fucked now. Are you afraid of him? No. No? You don't think he's going to hurt you? Or your children? Huh? Or your children, if you have children? Oh, God, no. I got okay. no Do you have any questions for us at the moment? Yeah. Who's paying for my backpack? Well, if you want to make a complaint about the backpack being damaged, no, you can contact your supervisor. No, I want to make a complaint about the officer who punched me in the face. I'll do that. Okay. That's... I'll if you want to contact your supervisor, yeah. I'm ready to do that. Jason's violent outburst resulted in a slew of charges, including battery on a law enforcement officer, two counts of attempted battery, and resisting arrest. He was sentenced to 60 days of jail time and 30 months of probation for the first two charges. And that's a wrap on these dumb Karens who thought they could take on the police. From gunfights to knife attacks and a leg-biting incident that left us speechless, these segments prove that messing with the cops never ends well. Thanks for watching, and if you like this type of content, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below for more wild videos.